Lotta Clemming from Sweden catches wild oysters by hand for a living. She dives into the freezing waters 12 months a year. Lotta's father and uncle passed on this special skill to her. There aren't any other women oyster divers in Sweden. We are on the west coast uh, of Sweden, very close to the Norwegian border. And uh, we have wild oysters here. So instead of uh, farming oysters, we actually pick them by hand uh, through diving um, all year around. Previously, Lotta saw oyster diving as a male profession. She left Gräberstadt for Gothenburg to work in fashion. Before I started uh, oyster diving, I worked in the fashion industry uh, for a big uh, change uh, in Sweden. And I also traveled around the world. Uh, maybe I did not see myself do it because I connected very much to a very manly job. However, Lotta felt homesick in Gothenburg, so she returned to her hometown and took up oyster diving. The first time I picked oysters, I felt very good at it. And that gave me a very fulfilled feeling that I never had before. As soon as she started diving, Lotta knew this was the right profession for her. On the beach, she gets her oysters ready for market. Because the waters are so pure here, these oysters get a good price. However, Lotta's attracted to their flavors rather than profit. What makes uh, our oyster, the Swedish oyster, so special is uh, probably, uh, first of all, because of the taste. They have a very intense taste. Uh, so it's not like a new beginner's oyster. And uh, just because our ocean here is so clean, it's A-classified. 